Hello everyone, um, I'm just going to show you how to use Khan Academy. A username and password should have been given to you by your uh, teacher. So I'm going to pretend now that I'm a learner and I'm going to use a username and password that I was given. So when you go in like this, um, you can just say I already have an account because it's been made for you. Okay, so I'm going to just put in my username and password and put in my password. And log in. Okay. So this is where you must make sure that a parent is beside you and that they agree that you go on this. I and my parent agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. Okay. Uh, this is a not-for-profit organization, um, one from America. So a lot of the things in it are actually aligned to the American curriculum. However, when we go on it, you'll see that a lot of it is very much the same as the learning we'd be doing. And a lot of it, even though it doesn't relate to what we're learning in school, it's very valuable information and makes you a better mathematician as it is anyway. OK, so when you click courses, uh, you'll see that here it's maths by grade. OK, so here this is uh, for obviously preschool. Uh, first grade is actually uh, second class. Okay, so if you're in second class, you'll be doing first grade and all the way up. So sixth grade is actually first year in school, in secondary school. So fifth grade would be the highest we'd go up to. And if you're in sixth class uh, or fifth class as well, and you really like maths and you want to go on to the next grade, you can. Uh, as you go on, it shows your progress. So it's only natural that you'd want to go on to the next grade if you are excelling at the maths that's coming up. But for the moment, don't worry about that. If you find it more difficult, you can go back down a grade. OK, so I'm going to start with third grade. Um, so I'm pretending I'm in fourth class. So I'm going to, to see, you'll see that multiplication is here. And if I go back into Mr. Neenan's work on our website, you'll see that he actually wants you to do multiplication. All right, so the bit that you can do here in third grade is gonna start off with an intro to multiplication and obviously it gets uh, progressively more difficult as you go through here. So uh, this will all back up what you're already doing, Mr. Neenan, in your book, okay? So I'll just start with it and see what comes up, okay? So this is, uh, these are videos up next for you and practice means that you actually get questions. So I'll just I'll start your question and see how you're getting on with it. Okay, let's go. Skip count to find the total number of acorns. So three, six, nine, 12, 15. So three, there are 15 in all, but they also want you to skip count here. So they want you to just fill in the blanks of a skip count. Okay. Just going to check our answer. Yay. Okay, so this is nice. Okay. Now, since you're in Mr. Neenan's class and Miss Lane, uh, they will be able to see your progress as you go through this. So, so you're not just doing this for yourself. It's actually uh, logged in their teacher account as well, how well you're doing. Okay, so there are how many groups of eight? Look, there's four groups of eight. So you just filled in the blanks here. But how many groups in all? And if you're using your hit button app, or if you're really good at your multiplication already, you'll know that four eights are 32. So I'm going to put that in. And the next one I'm going to get wrong. I'm going to show you how, uh, if you're kind of stuck with something, that how, how can Academy can help you with your maths as, as you go through, okay? Because it's kind of like a teacher as well as an assessment tool, as well as a maths book, as well as a maths copy, because you can write in all your answers here. Uh, images below. So I assume there's eight little chicks there. There are eight and four eights. There are how many groups of eight? There are four groups of eight. And there are how many chickens in all? Check. Getting it right. Oh gosh, okay, I need to get the next one wrong. I keep saying. Uh, six, 12, uh, 18, uh, 24, 32. And there are how many eggs in all? We say 28. Okay, no, check. Try again so you can get help, watch video. Okay, so I'll just fix that up to where it should be. And uh, put in 30, check again. There you go, show story. And three out of four, correct. 
and then you can go back to the lesson page. Okay, that's done.